the person his name is A. <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, oh yes. So um, I, I know you from my brother. I you from my brother, and I don't think you uh, realize the gravity of what you're doing yet. Be like you're affecting a lot of families, the communities with what you're like. I just got to produce community. I see how you work and operate, and it's like, you know, like I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why you're doing this. What do you mean why I'm doing this? Like just spreading like false information about Islam. You're taking young people, confusing them, getting them away from their religion. Well, that sound, sound, sound like you are sure. So can you give me the false information I just gave? Uh, well, I mean, I, I was listening to you and you were talking about the miracles. It's a miracle for a reason. It's not going to make sense. Which one is a miracle? Well, uh, Suleiman talking to the, to the ants, for example, like what is, <laughs> what is so funny about that? Yeah, yeah, you tell me what is the logic of Suleiman speak. What we heard, the Quran speak about Jesus across in less than eight words, eight words. But when he speak about the ant, he give us a page. Who? What we get? What is the benefit of the ant speaking to Suleiman and Suleiman is speaking to the ant? What is that? What we learn now? And how this is a miracle? This is a scientific miracle because simply ants don't talk. They don't speak. Well, Ants are ants. No, ants is the deaf. You see, the Quran did not say Allah made the ant talk. Suleiman he heard the ant. The ant she said to the other ants, which mean all ants they talk. So your God Allah made a mistake, because either the ants talk or the ants they don't talk. If you read me carefully, you see they, com they communicate. They communicate, but you, if you read, it says he heard her speech. What speech? He heard, he heard Suleiman, he hear with his, eye, his, his, his ears, he's a human at the end of the day. So the ant she said, do you see the word said? Do you see Suleiman says he was amused at her speech? So this is not a miracle, this is a, just a silly, stupid story. Take him from, from the Legion of the Jews, go right now and search in Google. Forget about Christian Prince. Type in Google the, the legend of the Jews. Hold on, the legend of the Jews, the legion of the Jews, the story of the ant, Suleiman and the ant. You will see it there. This is legions. So how Muhammad he take a legion? The Jews they tell it to their to their kids, and he make it part of his holy Quran. Uh, how do you know that it's a legend? Maybe it is because it exists. It exists long before Islam. The Jews have it. Search right now. What you know? Why well, you don't? Yes, but Islam, Islam is it's a continuation of Ex exactly. Of it's a continuation, but continuation of legions because this is a legion. It cannot be found in any holy book, and nobody will believe in such a, 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 a you know, stupid story. Let me ask okay, you. What about, what, okay. about, what about Jesus uh, turning water into wine? Well, there's a point of that. Jesus is God. What the point of Suleiman speaking to the end? What we learn from this now? And look, my friend, you can read, right? It says here, okay, it says here, all you people, we have been taught the speech of the birds. Okay, what Allah, he taught Suleiman? The language of the birds. So how he understand the ant? Well, if he can teach him uh, the to understand the birds, I, why cannot he teach him to understand the ants? So now if I learn the, the language of the chicken and the dogs, I can understand the language of the of the lizard? No. Okay, but, so, but this is not a, this is not a, this is not a bird. Is, is that, and why he said bird, he's, he should say, uh, we've been taught the language of all animals. No, he said the birds. So now he he been taught the language of the birds, and then suddenly he is a speaker to the ant. And there was, because that was a specific situation. Uh, okay, my friend, I'm, I'm going to ask you, uh, to be listen, touched. listen, I'm going to tell you about a miracle happening to my grandfather and tell me if this is true or not. My grandfather, he died standing because he was holding a stick. My grandmother, she go inside the bedroom each time she see him for a year. 
she did not notice that he is dead. Why? Because when he died, he was holding a stick. Do you believe my story or you don't? Well, I, I don't know what you are trying to connect this with. That uh -huh. is also another miracle. What miracle? I mean, the guy, he, nobody noticed because he was holding a stick. Not the, because God made him stand. He's holding a stick, and because of the stick, nobody noticed he's dead. The guy, he's dead for a year. And then when the, when the termite, when the termite, they ate his stick. What is the miracle? Termite, they destroy the miracle of Allah. Well, Allah allowed them to destroy it. No, show me where it says yes. Allah, he wanted to hide his death. Can't Allah increase his age one year more? You know, do he, what is this for? So the, the, the Suleiman, the same person, he died, you know, and now Allah don't want anyone to know. Look like Allah is not in control of death. He don't want anyone to know because he not finished the temple. So Allah, he made Suleiman when he died, die when he's standing. You know, there's always a way to make a story look stupid, you know, and you are very good at that. Ah, you just you just admitted that it's stupid. I could tell me what the point of this now. And oh. Don't change what I said. There's always a way to make a story look stupid. No, no, stupid. I'm giving you the mic. Make it smart. Go ahead. I am a person is good to make a story look bad. Is that what he said, guys? Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm not going to disturb you. Make this a story smart. Go ahead. I don't remember the details of the story. No problem. Take your time. Chapter 34. There's no, there's nothing to remember. It doesn't say anything. Quran is just a silly book. There's no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. <laughs> Read the verse before it. There's nothing to do with the, with the one. So now he made and he built the Maharib and even he built statues. So, okay. So now when, when we decided to decree death on him, who is the one who decreed death? Allah. Okay, why he want to hide death? Why you decree death if you don't want people to know that he is dead? Why? He made a mistake? So go ahead, you said, and, and, and you said, I can make a story look stupid. But in fact, it's, it's not. You, he will, it's because he was putting the jinn to work. And My friend. They needed him. But is they it, needed him to observe them and watch them. Okay, but isn't it the jinn? is an ugly creatures and they are the shaitan so the shaitan now they are working for allah building a mosque yeah they were working uh... what uh, what working for? they are building a mosque shaitan yes. okay yes guys do you hear it why shaitan will build the mosque for allah i thought he's the enemy of allah well uh, because he had a uh authority over them and that was from Allah. this is another question why shaitan will build a mosque for Allah I thought this is the name you should not be allowed to enter the mosque it turned to be that even your mosque is built by Allah oh, sorry by shaitan is shaitan a Muslim uh, what is shaitan well, a Muslim some of, the, some, of, some of the jinn are Muslim I'm not talking about the jinn now I said shaitan focus with me No, he is not Muslim. Are you sure? Yes. All right. This is the Quran. The Quran says that Shaitan he worked for Allah, and he worship Allah, and he obey Allah. Read it carefully. Chapter fifteen, verse number thirty-nine. Allah and Shaitan. They are. They have a very good relationship. They are friends. In fact, Shaitan he worship Allah. Iblis Satan said, "Oh my God, because you mislead me." Do you see it? Chapter fifteen, verse number thirty-nine. Tell me how Shaitan and why Shaitan worshiping Allah, and he is a Muslim, and why Allah misled a good Muslim boy. His name is Iblis. I'm listening. Remember. I am the one who make any story look so stupid. So you are welcome to make this story so smart. Go ahead. Well, the word misled is avwaitani, 
which is it's not really misled it's more like uh, i i cannot find the right word but seduced me i guess <laughs> that's even more ugly you try to fix it you make it a blind so allah he said you shaitan to do bad you are yes by making, you're right i guess by making the humans and make what make, making a human making it's the, you who said allah no, 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 not by making Adam. Don't make things up. He did not say anything about Adam. He says, No, I'm, I'm trying to explain the story logically. Like, you cannot just, you have to think about the okay. story. But you, you did, just, but you like, did say, you did say, Allah, he said, use shaitan. Did you say that? Wait, let, let me try to think of a better word. Uh, no, no, this okay. is the correct word. This is the correct word. Agwa. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. You said the truth. So, Allah, He seduced Shaitan to do wrong. Why Allah will do that? Okay, I, I found it uh, tempted me. I think that's a better word. No, know. no, no, no. Al Riwaya. Yes. Al okay, let me show you. Here we go. The same, the same word. Yes. The same word in the Quran. Yes. You will see Al Gawin. Yes. Listen, listen, my friend. Al Gawin. Who is Al Gawin? As long as you speak Arabic. I'm waiting for you. No wait, let's let's stay. Let's stay. On the we, we are staying. We are not moving. We are not moving. We are still talking about the same word. What the word Al-Gawin mean? The people who want something. Really? I thought the criminals. Yes. I, I thought the criminals, the bad, the evil doer. Are you sure there's people they want something like somebody want ice cream? Is that what Al-Gawin mean? That. That. I'm, I'm, well. Out of context, I think it's correct to say that people who want something. No, no, that's false. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, maybe no, because you know that the Christian prince cannot be wrong in this. You know, let's go. Here we go. Let us go. I'm typing. Uh, there's uh, this website is weird. Let us see. There is. Just to remove one yeah. I don't know what it says. Al Gawin. Yeah, that's one. Right. Sorry. Says here, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhum sultan illa man attaba'aka min al gawin. Yeah. Okay, who, who is al gawin? Who is al gawin? Let us see what it says. Al gawin is those who they are evil. You can open the translation, you can open the interpretation, and you will see Al Gawin is the criminals, the evil doers, the the filthy. Okay, but, but do you agree that that's the definition in the Quran, not in Arabic? Read carefully. Yeah, this is the definition in the Al Quran and in Arabic. But how is that in? I don't see it in Arabic like that. Why is it? Al, because Al Gawin, Al Gawin is description for the evil ones. Read carefully. This is your translation. Certainly, you shall not, you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow you, of Gawin. Between two bracket, mushrikeen and those who go astray, criminals, polytheists, evil doers, etc. This is what Al Gawin mean. Do you see it? Okay. So Shaitan, he said, Agwaitani which is translated by Muslims as misled me, and you translated it as he seduced me. Allah, he seduced shaitan to be what? To be mushrik, to go astray, and to be criminal, you want me to, tell you to me become to polytheist, this? and to become an evildoer. Allah, he made shaitan do that. He seduced him. You Why? Why? You how he seduced him. Why? No, I'll tell you how he did it. No, no, I'm not asking you how. I'm asking why he did it. I don't know how to start by why. Let me start by first. No, no, like because to because this. how I don't care. I don't care, my friend. I can I can seduce you by a woman. I can seduce you by a potato, tomato. This is not the the the, the intention of it is the important. Why Allah want to make Shaitan? Shaitan was not a bad person, as you see. Shaitan was a victim of Allah. Shaitan is a victim. Of Allah. Well, maybe it was the maybe it was the death from Allah as well. No, it says clearly 
You misled me. Allah did not say no, I did not. He agreed. What this? Give me, give me the test Allah He gave to Shaitan, and then we will see if there is what this. There is no test. Allah. Well, he he became he became he became one of the Al Gawin. But he, he but he just convinced that Allah is the one who made him Gawin. <laughs> so Allah misled him, and now I'm asking you, what is the test Allah gave to Ad, to to to, uh, to Shaitan? Adam he been taught not to eat from the tree, correct? Yeah. Okay. What is the test Allah he gave to Shaitan? Did he tell him don't talk to Adam? Did they tell him not to deceive him? So which one happened first? Adam must be, uh, uh, Shaitan must be deceived before the story of Adam. No, he, he was he was jealous. What jealous? He okay, what, where do you get this story from? Sorry, where in the Quran it says Adam was jealous? The, the, not Adam. Sorry, uh, uh, Shaitan. Show me where where Shaitan was jealous. In fact, the Quran says that Allah He have an argument with the angels, and they say to him, "Are you going to create someone who will do do mis mischievement and mislead?" He said, "I know what you know not." So then he asked uh, he asked the uh, he asked the angels to bow down and to to Adam as a penalty. Correct? Yeah. Okay. But Shaitan, he refused to bow down. Is that correct? Yeah. But Shaitan is not an angel. Allah, he commanded the angels to bow down. Why is he upset from Shaitan? Hmm? Shaitan is not an angel in Islam. Shaitan, in Christianity, Satan is an angel. He's a foreign angel. In Islam, he's just a genie. So imagine I say, all cats say yo, except the dog, he says ow. And then I get upset from the dog. But he's not a cat. Allah commanded the angels to go down. Do you see where it says Allah commanded the angels and Satan to go down? No. So why Allah is upset from the shaitan? He is not part of the conversation. He did not accuse Adam of anything. He is not the one who said Adam would do mischievement. It was just the angels. Allah and the angels speaking. So why even? It's not even fair. Why Adam should go down? To someone, he have nothing to do with him. Here you see that Allah is being unjust. He is punishing someone. He did nothing wrong. He did not talk to Adam. He did not accuse Adam. He have nothing to do with Adam conversation. It was only Allah and the angels. And then we are upset because he did not bow down. In the top of that, if you read the story carefully, you will see how silly the author of the Quran. Allah wanted to prove to the to the angels when they accuse Adam that he know what they know not. As we see in verse number 30, chapter 2, 30. Allah, he decided to get them busted. How? He taught Adam the names. He said to him, this cat, her name is Susu. This dog, his name is Fufu. This, this, uh, this tree, it's called Mulberry. And now Allah want to show them that they do not not. He's God. He is the one who knows everything. So he put the dog and the cat and the tree in the front of the angel and he said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. In fact, do you see the word truthful? In Kuntum Sadiqin, you speak Arabic. What is the opposite of Sadiqin? What is the opposite of Sadiqin? He said to them, in Kuntum Sadiqin, what is the opposite of Sadiqin? Liars. Liars, thank you very much. So Allah is accusing the angels to be a liars. The angels of Islam proven to be all of them liars in the Quran. It's in the front of you. So if they are truthful, they will be able to say the names. They said to him, Allah, how we can do that? We do not know. Which is funny. The angels said to him, well, what we are doing, the opposite. You give us those things, we give it names, and you tell us the names. I mean, isn't it funny that I am the one who called the dog Juju, and then I ask you, what is the name of my dog? And then you say to me, I do not know. And then I say his name is Juju, and that is the proof that I am God. How that work? It should be the opposite. Very silly, stupid story. 
And now... That's, that's really, it's, that, that, that all talking shows how Allah can create things that... No, 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 this is not about create. This is not about create, my friend. Hold on. This case, it says Allah, he taught Adam the names. And by the way, the same thing is mentioned in the Bible, but not what Muhammad is saying now. God said, taught Adam the names. In the Bible meant God gave Adam knowledge about things around him. That's it. So how Adam he knew it, angels will not. That's, that's silly. Isn't it you Muslim you say angels they can hear us when we are talking? Isn't it you Muslim you say angels are everywhere? Suddenly now the angels they are not? What yeah, happened? But, but no, at that, at that moment. Ah, at that moment. Like, at that moment they took drugs. They, they were taking drugs. Yeah, yeah. But look what happened now. Your God is accusing angels to be liars. You receive your Quran from who? From an angel, is that correct? Uh, in in Kuntum Sadiqeen, about, 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 like, it's not in, about their first, like, um, their nature, it's not like, oh, they're liars, or like, they're lying beings, hmm. because of that moment. What it's lying? In Kuntum Sadiqeen, uh -huh. that, that my, uh, that the humans will... Uh, what the human, my friend? I ask you, what is the opposite of a truthful? You yourself, you said liars. I agree with you. Yes. So now Allah, if accusing angels to be liar about this topic, that means they can be liars about everything. You can't be liar in one thing and truthful in the other thing. A liar is a liar. <laughs> when you lie, I don't, I don't, you see? I don't see it. No, you see it. You see it. You are just trying to, to, to play dumb now. If I lied, that means I lied. Is that correct? I cannot say I am the truthful because the second you commit sin, isn't it your prophet? You say, like, when, when everybody commits sin, why we, why we call him a sinner? Because simply every one of us commits sin. The second you commit one sin, you are a sinner. It doesn't matter how many. One, two, three, four, five, doesn't matter. You're just counting. But still, sin is sin. And now, according to this, they are committing sin. They are not truthful. They are liars. And look what your God did. He ordered them to bow down to a man. And this is against what Muslims they claim that Islam is a religion of monotheism and we bow down only to Allah. Suddenly now the angels are bowing down to a man who will do mischievement. And guess what? The angels, they were right. Adam, he did mischievement and Allah himself, just a few verses after, he came out of heaven. So the angels, they told the truth and Allah is ignorant. Allah, he kicked the same person who he just said, I know what you know not. The angel said to him, this guy will do bad. Him and his kids, Allah accused them of lying. So who is the liar? But Allah, but Allah did tell them that he will, that he will send the, like, even before he did the, the sin. He told the angels Thank that he will put the humans in the earth. Thank you. You just hit your God in the in the head with a big bullet, not a bullet, um, uh, you know, a uh, a missile, nuke, nuke. Look what happened. According to your religion, Allah He decree the sin of Adam before He created him. Forty years. 40 years before his creation. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So Adam did not commit sin. Based on this, correct? No, it, it, he, he did. And it was decreed for him. It was, out, yes, you can say it was out of his control. But so, so, so hold on. So, so when, when I commit sin and you force me to commit sin, is that really sin? If you force me. That's a very complicated topic. No, 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 it is very easy and you are smart and you speak Arabic and I'm showing the reference. Your God, he forced Adam to commit sin, which means he forced Shaitan to commit sin too. That's why he said, Aghwaitani. So both of them, they are victims of the evil God, Allah. As you see here, Moses saying to Adam, Hey, Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam says to Moses, you ignorant idiot, you are the one who spoke to Allah. Don't you know that Allah, he forced me to commit sin in a decree 40 years before my creation. 
So why Allah is punishing shaitan if this is a plan from Allah? Which means shaitan, I will make shaitan. Now we connect the dots. Shaitan, he said to Allah, Aghwaitani, you misled me. How? He made him do, come to Adam and play with him. He forced him. Adam been forced too to commit sin, to disobey Allah. And all this plan is designed by Allah 40 years for both. So both of them, they are victims of the real devil, like Allah. Yeah, well, when you, uh, like I said, there's always uh, more than one way to look at a, a story as you perceive it. My you friend, what way, what way? Listen, this is the decree, you agreed. Allah, he decreed. Can Adam change it? No. Don't tell me one way, other way, three. There's no way, this is decree, destiny. Can Adam change his destiny? No. It's more like knowledge. Like. No, 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 no. This is not knowledge. Don't make it think things up. You see, he's saying to him, Ad Musa is saying to him, Adam says to Musa, do you blame me? Which means we cannot blame him. If he is, if it's about knowledge only, yes, we can blame Adam. He commits sin. Correct? Knowledge of Allah will not change that he commits sin. So we can blame you. But this is not what happened. Okay. Are you blaming me for something which Allah decreed? Decreed, not Allah knows. So why we can't blame Adam? Because this is not his choice. He been forced to. And your prophet, he says that Adam he won the argument. So we cannot blame Adam for his sin. What happened? Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? I'm holding. Are you holding? I don't think you are holding. I think you are collapsing. With my respect to you, your argument is false. This is Satan. What we see in front of us is Satan. Satan is forcing people to commit sin. This is going to be God. God is about just. So why Adam was kicked out from heaven? Isn't, isn't this the same story in the no, Bible? No, no. In the Bible, God did not decree for Adam to commit sin. God told him, don't commit sin. Adam commits sin. Here is a different story. Your God, he forced Adam and Shaitan. So now Shaitan himself is a person committing sin, forced by Allah. Adam himself, he forced to commit sin by Allah. So Shaitan and Adam, both of them, are victims of the biggest criminal, which is Islam, religion, Allah. That, that, like, yeah. Um, I, I see your points, but I don't agree with it. Okay, let us see. Let us see if you will agree with me or not. I will go for something else. When you commit fornication, do you, I, I, do you choose, I, do, I, do you I, choose, I, I, hold on, hold on. Do you choose to commit fornication or Allah forces you to commit fornication? As I said, Christian, uh, Christian Prince, it didn't, like, I, I'm, I wasn't here to come and like talk into these topics with you. I just want to tell you that like what you're doing is more than just having fun and making fun of a religion. It's like affecting a lot of families and how many of your are... how many of your family left Islam because of me? Well, my my little brother watches your videos and it's just fucked up, you know. Oh. So Look like you are the same now. You are leaving Islam. Because you could not answer me. And now you are trying to change the topic. My family, because of you, my family. Uh, if your brother, he did not find this Islam as a stupid. He will not leave Islam. He did not F up, as you said. He is the right one. And now you are trying to change the topic because you have no answer. You are out of answers. You don't know what to say. You came here to accuse me. Of misleading Muslims, making thousands of Muslims leave Islam. We don't know the impact you are doing in our society. It's not my fault. I'm just saying the truth, and the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus said. So you cannot answer why Allah will force you to commit fornication. How that is just. And then how he will punish me for it. How Allah he forced Adam to commit sin and then he punished him for it. How Allah forced Shaitan to commit sin. And then he punish him for it. This is not God. God is about just. All right. Well, 
I, I don't have an answer for you. Um, what about leaving Islam myself, my, my, my friend, right now and, and save yourself? You don't have an answer because obviously the proofs is overwhelming. You came, you insulted me in the beginning, claiming that I'm lying, making stories look stupid, sound stupid when they are not, when in fact I am not doing that. I am showing you how stupid it is. And now you agreed with me. That's why you cannot answer. You speak Arabic. You are born in an Arabic family, I can tell. And you can read both in English and Arabic. So what is the excuse for you to say, I do not know? It's obvious. This God, he forced sin. If you don't commit sin, he will even destroy you, Muhammad said. Adam is a victim. Shaitan is a victim. Eve is a victim. I mean, everybody is a victim of Allah. So the real sinner in this earth, if he exists, it is the devil Allah. Because only evil one will force people to do evil and then he laughs at them, accusing them of doing evil. He's not even admitting that this is his evil. So while Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Your God in the Quran says, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguided? So what his job is to misguide? And not only that, nobody can guide the one who I misguide. What kind of logic this logic is? Why Allah even misguiding people and why he will not be them guided? So I advise you, my friend, I'm not against you, by the way. I listen to you all the way, even though you are, your accusation is an insult to me. But I understand. I, I advise you right now to leave Islam, the same as your brother he did. Right. Well, um, uh, I, have, I have nothing else to say. I'm going to hang up. Did you decide to leave Islam? You, said you left Islam, right? No, no. You did. No, that's, uh, then stay that's, that's, then stay and prove me wrong you are you just admitted that Islam cannot refute me you just when you say I'm going to leave simply no, I don't I don't have the information I don't have no you do I gave you that the, you do not need books the, the the story in front of you your prophet did not give you books beside this he gave you this that's it this is the story read it the story of the first sin of the first man is not Adam's sin it is Allah where you want to go even your prophet make it clear that even when someone he commit fornication all kind of sin it was a decree decree so now if I go and sleep with women why Allah want to punish me for sleeping with women why there's a punishment for adultery when this is nothing but a decree from Allah and you must commit. What a madness religion. Where is this decree? It's in front of you. Do you see it? This is the name of the chapter. Chapter of the son of Adam, share of Zina, etc. Decreed from him. Do you see it? I can show it to you in Arabic. You speak Arabic. This is Babul Qadr. قُدِّرَ عَلَىٰ إِبْنُ آدَمْ قُدِّرَ It's a decree. What kind of God? He made us fornicate. So He can punish us for fornication. He forced us to fornicate. What you will do now? You will say, I have to go? You run away from the truth? Is that how a smart, intelligent man like you do when he faced yeah. something obvious? Oh, yeah, I just, I just want to, I don't want to hang up and say nothing. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm, I'm sorry, man, but thank you for having me and uh, have a nice day. Well, I'm glad that you left Islam, my friend. And we pray that soon you will accept Jesus. That is not going to happen. You left Islam already. You just agreed with everything I said. You are out of Islam. You are. And say hello to your brother. Maybe soon we will meet in the church together. Praise the Lord. 
We are always victorious. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? They are blaming me that Muslim society, tens of thousands of people live in Islam and his family members of Islam, but he, he came to save his brother, supposedly, he and himself leaving Islam. What is this? How in the world that this is a religion? My friends, we are not here because we want to teach hate against Muslims. We are here to save them. The Lord, he says, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. And Muslims are people who they are sick with the falsehood of Muhammad. And we are here to give them the cure.